Ladies and gentlemen, it's a Volvo kind of day. What's up guys and welcome back to Shifting Lanes. My name is Gregson and I'm standing here in front of my 2005 Volvo V70R. Today I wanted to talk about something that I really haven't talked a lot about. It's not that ridiculously loud noise. No, today I want to talk to you about what it's like to drive this thing as a daily driver because this is a 450 horsepower sleeper Volvo wagon and uh, yeah, not a lot of people drive these daily. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop in, we're gonna go get a car wash cause this thing's filthy and we are going to talk about what it's like to drive this thing. But stay tuned until the end of the video because when this turns to nighttime, we're gonna do something that I think might actually work. We're gonna try to get some flames out of this thing. I, it might not work, but we're gonna try because we do have fuel overrun tuned into this thing and it makes really loud pops and bangs as you guys have probably seen in other videos. <laughs> so without further ado, let's hop into the car. Let's go get a car wash, chat about it, and stay tuned for flames. Maybe flames. I hope flames. So as I'm cruising around town to, uh, you know, go get my disgusting rancid car washed, let's talk about what it's like to drive this thing because, like I said, not many people drive a 450 horsepower sleeper wagon as a daily driver. And quite honestly, it ain't it ain't that bad. Uh, the way this thing is dialed in is I actually asked for a conservative tune, one to not overstress basically most of the engine parts, even though this block is shimmed, um, closing in the gap between the cylinder walls. That's a known weak point in these engines in the Volvo white block uh, five cylinder engines. But also the tune is conservative. It does. It's only making 20 psi. Now we should and easily can make 23, 24 psi before really having to go, you know, and upgrade internals and upgrade all this other stuff. But I asked for that on purpose and it has an overrun tune so you get pops and crackles and bangs out the back which is a little bit more you know interesting and fun but the rest of the car is actually quite easy to drive uh, the throttle response is not insane the way this thing builds speed is not insane it's actually quite a good and pleasant experience to as a normal daily driver I mean obviously the biggest difference between this thing and like a stock V70R, oh, 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 bouncy. The only thing between this and a stock V70R is like, you put your foot down <laughs> and it just goes like hell. So that's the biggest difference. Other than that, the thing's basically a normal car, guys. Like this isn't some, you know, rat rod, stripped out sports car. I mean, it's got, you know, friggin' thousand pound seats in it still. This is a very comfortable, very competent daily driver and it performs as such now once we get this thing on a drag strip and a track i have no doubt that it will sort of come to life as sort of a fire breathing monster if you will which is why i can't wait until tonight because i'm going to see if this thing is actually is a fire breathing monster um no promises but i'm really hoping so so yeah Ooh, fresh whites looking like new shoes baby you know, a ton of people always get super triggered when I tell them I bring this car to a non-brushless car wash. This is basically just a normal old car wash you can find anywhere in the US or anywhere in the world really. But the thing is, my car has ceramic coating on it. It's from Avalon King, it's called Armor Shield 9. You can check the link in the description below or you can go to avalonking.com and use the code SHIFT25 to get $25 off a purchase of this stuff. It is absolutely ridiculous. Wow, that car's loud. It is insane how much protection it gives this car and it's gonna protect the paint from the winter, the salt, all that stuff, and all the brushes in the car wash. So when I say I bring it to a regular car wash, I'm like, guys, it's ceramic coated, no big deal, don't even worry about it. Um, when this thing, when, well, when this car gets completely redone in the front with the front bumper, I'll re-ceramic coat that and it'll be good. But with ceramic coating guys you can bring this to car washes and it's fine it protects your paint it's better than clear coat and it's not a ppf don't get me wrong but you can bring it to normal car washes and it'll protect your paint from all of the winter grime and crap so i'm gonna hop back in it is looking super nice don't forget to pick up avalon king's armor shield 9 if you haven't they've been a great support to this channel and they've really helped us out and hey we have the product on our car i wouldn't put it on my car if i didn't believe in it Let's go back in the car and drive around. And uh, yeah, I wish it was nighttime. I wanna see some freaking flames, man. All right, now that my car doesn't look like uh, it was basically just taken out of a 
dumpster and has a million pounds of dirt on it it's looking good so let's go find a place to take that thumbnail because as you know the YouTube thumbnail is choice and needs to be good for you guys to click on it so off to a local park oh yeah that's looking nice all right I am officially done waiting around for it to turn night so I'm gonna do one of those really cool snap transitions for you guys because you know that's that's engaging in videos so here we go and try it ready Nailed it. So as you can see, it's nighttime and it's actually a pretty gorgeous night. V70R looking so nice under the lights here at my parking garage in Morristown, New Jersey. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around and try to get some flames. And now the best way to do this in, from supercar territory is to get everything really, really warmed up. So you gotta get the engine hot, the exhaust hot and everything. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive around here really quick probably mostly in second gear, get a bunch of heat into the engine and the fueling and the exhaust. Then we're gonna park it up and we're gonna do some revs and fingers crossed we're gonna get some flames. So yeah, let's go. If you are new to the channel and you don't know what a five cylinder sounds like with a pretty amazing exhaust, um, well, I'll, I'll show you in a minute, but please consider subscribing because then you can get more amazing, amazing sounds. Just like this. <laughs> That'll heat it up. Guys, I'm like revving my engine at stoplights and I've just realized I'm almost at single digit MPGs. I just filled my tank up today and I'm really hoping for single digits. Come on, come on nine. I'm at 10 one. Let's do this. We need Lambo territory MPGs. Let's go. All right guys, we made it to a very secret undisclosed location no one knows about this place actually it's just a local park that's really dark so hopefully we can see some flames I'm gonna toss the GoPro on a tripod everything's gonna be warm everything's warmed up been racing the engine like crazy and hopefully we can see some flames so fingers crossed let's see if we got a flame throwing Volvo that'd be awesome Well, I just reviewed the footage and uh, I really thought it would shoot flames actually with all the pops and cracks are on, but I guess not. Um, there may have been a little bit. I don't really know. I, it's a little grainy on the, Go, the GoPro viewfinder, so uh, I'm going to go home and review it and see if I can find something because I thought I saw a little flash, but I, it's hard to see on this camera and in this light. So let's fast forward to tomorrow where I can actually give you a summary of uh, what exactly just happened and if we saw a flame or not, but um, hey worst case scenario is That's that confirms this car sounds absolutely ridiculous All right, so it is the next day and I reviewed the footage last night. I looked at it again Stay to the left to I-287 South Somerville shut up ways Police reported ahead. Oh don't shut up ways thank you I reviewed the footage and it looks like we did not get a flame even with all those pops and crackles even with the burble tune and even with you know a reduced cat and everything we didn't get flames now I sort of knew that was gonna happen um, I was just seeing if I could actually do it but that's a no so the way to do it is you got to tune for it and you basically got to go straight pipe so otherwise you're just gonna melt the cat and you're gonna basically not have a good time because it's just gonna melt the cat and then it's it, it, bad things happen just don't do that you can do it there's a bunch of ours out there that have tunes from um steve-o and gustav contrast works and hilton that have this so this is not a thing that's like oh god the first thing ever but i just wanted to see if with what i have it's possible um, i'm actually in an xt40 right now because i 
uh, dropped the XC90 off for its first ever service. And yes, believe it or not, it is the first ever service on that car. So yeah, I'm just driving uh, to work. Uh, it's in a new XC40. I really like these cars. They're quirky, they're fun, they're tiny. I feel like I have a good driving position. And yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the XC40s. There's a little bit of uh, reliability concerns going on with these cars right now, but uh, nothing that I've heard that's like catastrophic, just a lot of electronic gremlins, but it's a nice place to be. I really like this car and it's actually quite quick. Um, zero to 60 in just over six seconds, as fast as a GTI. So in case you didn't know, now you do. So yeah, no flames today, unfortunately, but we're gonna try this again with what I have. I wanna try some roller shots and see if we can get some flames at night while I'm rolling on the highway. Not sure if it's possible, but we'll try it again. Uh, maybe we'll even take on a fun car and uh, and a roll race on a highway, so stay tuned for that. If you don't know, Hansen has basically taken it upon himself to become our car reviewer on the channel. So go check out all the car reviews he's doing. Um, we're giving you some really good consumer advice. Before you buy is basically the series. If you're in the model market for a car or you just wanna watch a good review, Hansen's your guy. Go check out everything on the channel for that. Um, Chad has some interesting uh, C30 stuff coming up. We do a whole bunch of things on the channel that are not just Volvos. So go look at those videos. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Shifting Lanes. We're posting all our old videos on Facebook and we're doing lots of new stuff there. As as well as stuff on Instagram you can't find here on YouTube. That'll do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Gregson and I will catch you next time. See ya.